Hello and welcome. Welcome to today's live stream tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to draw a um, a Valentine's Day card. So I guess so I guess we be, before we begin, I guess I'll get help you get through like the process of at least thinking over what you what what to do, you know, cuz like I guess for a Valentine's Valentine's Day card, it could pretty much be anything. You could just have one character on the side and then have some text on the other side. Like if you saw my other tutorial where I did like a New Year's Eve card, it's it's pretty much um they're they're both uh pretty pretty similar. So what I decided to do is just made somewhat of like a, a template where like I it's, I'm just gonna leave like one section blank and just leave you uh the viewer uh the watcher can um can put something in for yourself later when I uh, eventually upload it to uh, to my Twitter and or Tumblr. So what so what I'm doing is I'm just I'm um, just making a box, just like the. Almost like I'm making a little picture frame here. And then I'm going to add like maybe a rose on the two corners here. So I'll start with a circle. And then the way how roses sort of tend to form is they just uh, somewhat circulate. Then I'm going to add a bit of dimension to these uh, flower petals. So make it look like they go into the center. Okay. Then I'm going to do the same for over here. I guess another way of doing the flower petals is just draw a circle and then draw another circle outside of that circle and then another one until you have like I think uh, three or four four circles with a bit of space in between. And then start with the middle and then sort of have the like break and then in between each one of those breaks you have another another session this is similar to how I draw like um, uh, to how I draw hair where like each line every time I make a little break the next line that I draw over I uh, I sort of have like a straight line and then have the break go a little bit after the first break. Okay, I think I'm going to make this box a little bigger.
If you're having trouble drawing a straight line, feel free to use a ruler. Okay, and then I'm going to do a little pattern here. Maybe have it look like an S or something. Or no, wait. Nah, I don't like the way this looks. Okay. Okay. I'll do something like this. It's like, start with three drops, and then go to two, and then go to one. Just adding some sort of pattern here. Okay. Then for here, I just do like a simple box. Like the cor like a different sort of something different to the corner of this picture frame. A box inside of another box. Then I'll move over here and do the same. Maybe I'll add something here, to like the size of these frames. Maybe have them curve a little bit. So I just do a little school. Um, uh, it's like similar to how you would draw the ocean. And I try to keep them parallel to the uh, to both sides. Okay, and then I'm gonna repeat the same process at the bottom here.
maybe let's just add a little something here. So I'm going to just uh, fill in the, the, uh, this empty space here. I don't know, you could do that or just uh, add flowers or something, more petals. If you wanted to continue the pattern and do it on the other side, that's fine as well. Entirely up to you. Okay. I feel like I got enough detail at least over here because in the background I'm just going to pick like a, a, a particular tone and then a simple tone where I just repeat the same thing over and over again to like just fill the background here. So let's start with, uh, with inking. So since there's not much for me to talk about, um, you know, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, you know, if you also uh, drew, decided to draw your, uh, draw someone a card, uh, what did you decide to do? You know, did you decide to do somewhat similar to what I did, or did you um, just uh, pick a character, or draw, or just draw like a simple character receiving a card and just go like. And just, uh, man, what was it? <laughs> what am I trying to say? Just like, uh, did you write something romantic or something just heartfelt? Yeah, I wouldn't mind uh, hearing um, what did you do for your Valentine's Day gift um, if it was art related, you know? That's always, it's always fun to hear what other people um, who draw, uh, what did they give uh, uh, people uh, or their significant other. Uh, for Valentine's Day, or do they just buy a gift? Some people uh, don't see, or they they always feel like um, after when you reach a certain age, you feel almost obligated. Where like just making gifts is no longer as valued as um, uh, as just going out and buy the same thing. You know, if you took the same gift and um, if you made it. It's uh, given less value than something that's probably made the same way, except by somebody else. And uh, it's somewhat valued more than you who took time out of your day uh, 
to make it. sec forgot to pull up the stream okay now that I have the stream up if you want to ask me anything feel free to now and if you happen to miss this stream um, and come to this video afterwards uh, feel free to just uh, leave a comment under the video, and I'll be sure to take a look at it, and I'll try to answer it the best I can. Okay. Gonna do a bit of erasing. Okay, now I'm gonna switch on over to my thin tip sharpie and sort of uh, uh, fill in what I haven't uh, done yet. Hold on. Let me get a new one. Okay. So I'll work with these flower petals and add some dimension to them. Okay, now I'm going to add a bit of toning here. And I'm going to have the line so, um, uh, painting, uh, heading towards the center.
Okay, now I'm gonna move on over to here and just repeat the process. Okay, then I, I think I'll add a little something here. I'm just adding little circles here. Didn't really do anything, it's more just add something to this empty space here. Okay, and what I'm going to do with these water droplets, I'm just going to leave a little space where like, there's going to be uh, some shine to it, and I'm just going to fill it in black. So, uh, the, the way I figure out the placement of the shine is just like, if I have an object on the left, I'm... I'm having the shine more towards the left. If the object's on the right, I'll have the shine more to the right side of the top. And these ones in the in the the ones that are in the middle, I leave a bit of bit of shine towards the middle. Okay. Now what? Now what we're gonna do here is uh, add a little something to the background to make uh, this set, this middle section here uh, stand out. Uh, give me a sec. I need to blow my nose.
Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add um, uh, <clears throat> add like this uh, type of toning where like it involves like swirls, swirls upon swirls, which is basically you know you just have like a circle. And then you just take a part of that circle and just make it go around in a circle. And then just repeat that pattern. And they could be swirling in the same direction or in different directions. And you don't always have to keep them small, you can start gradually expanding them bigger. Because trust me, like, toning feels like it takes forever to do. So that's why it's okay if you want to take, like, um, the pattern of the tone, a pa a, the pattern of the tone, and uh, just enlarge it when you get closer to the end.
I guess since uh, since I haven't said anything in a few minutes, um, I guess I'll uh, openly talk about a couple a couple things you could say right right in this empty space. Um, I actually came up with a couple of ideas that are that could be somewhat f um, somewhat funny for a humorous uh, Valentine's Day card. <clears throat> like uh, this one that I thought of. It's a little ghetto, but um, getaway. It sounds ghetto or whatever. Well, basically, uh, it's like, uh, you looking so fly, will you be my valentine? <laughs> it's, it sounds dumb, but, um, you know, maybe you'll get a good laugh out of it. Feel free to use it. Like I'm, I'm pretty sure on Google there, are, there's probably like a site dedicated to just, um, uh, to just like uh, sweet and short cards that are already made. But or, or, or here's a, or here's a clever way of doing it. You go to, you go to Target, and you just read all the Valentine's Day cards, and you just uh, take an idea from one of those. I know Spencer's got like uh, a couple of hilarious, um, at least adult, uh, Valentine's Day cards. This one's starting to dry out. I think I'll switch to a different pen. Yeah, I've really started to let these circles um, kind of expand, take up a lot more space, so there's a lot more less time for me to fill in. It pretty much went from like small, and then gradually, as I got over to this side, got huge.
Okay, and with that, the entire background is covered, and this middle section stands out above the rest. Maybe I'll add a bit of toning here. Okay, I'll add a little bit here. Whoops, is it? Okay, good, we're still on. I think... Okay, good, we're still going. Okay, I was not too sure. My tablet was actually dying. Okay, maybe I'll add a bit of toning here as well. Okay, and with that, I think we've added enough detail. So we'll just, I'll just leave it as so. Although, no wait, maybe I'll just add one more thing, just a few dots.
Ah, I forgot over here as well. Okay, okay, now we're officially done, okay. So yes, leave a like if you enjoyed it. Uh, if you enjoyed this uh, live stream tutorial, you know, uh, leave a comment if you'd like to see me draw any other various cards in the future, maybe for St. Patrick's Day. I might do a video on that. <clears throat> you know, a card for every holiday, for upcoming holiday. So yes. So yes, uh, subscribe for more uh, live stream tutorials. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, so yeah, uh, you, you'll find a scanned version of this drawing in the description of this video at some time in the near future. Uh, when I get the chance. You know. Be sure to check out all my other stuff on both my Twitter and Tumblr and various other uh, sites that I have linked in the description. Feel free to check out my comic if you're into comics. Don the Mask Volume 1 and Don the Mask Volume 2. Uh, if you enjoy detectives going out, stopping bad guys, solving mysteries, then maybe this comic is for you. So yeah. So let me pull this up so you get a good view. Good view of everything. So yes, so yeah, thanks for coming out, I hope to see you again real soon, I think I'll wait like 40 seconds uh, before cancelling it out, or just at least 30 seconds, yeah. Okay, bye.